Hi everyone, Chris Small Designs here, and this is part one of the Academy 148 scale F4 Phantom B. Now, I do have a few of these kits in my stash, and I've been kind of holding off for a while on building these ones just because of some of the fit issues and um, lack of details that come with this kit. Now, obviously, Tamiya has now put out their F4 kit, and uh, I don't know much about that one, but um, I have these ones, so I'm going to continue on with, uh, with these ones here. So obviously the issue with uh, with this kit, as far as I know, is with the intakes. There might be some you know other stuff later, but we'll talk about the intakes for now. And um, studying what other people have done is um, they kind of put the plane together and then put the intakes on, but they have this god awful gap right here. Once they have you know all these steps put together, so I'm going to try a different way. As you can see right here, is I have the intakes on right now. And I do have somewhat of a gap, but not near as what they have. And I'm not too worry, worried about right here. It's because the wing is going to cover this part, so you're only going to see this. Now, this is just glue. This hasn't been sanded. This hasn't been smoothed. Nothing like that. And, of course, I use these clamps or used these clamps. Once I had these two pieces you know, together, I put the clamp here to hold it down overnight. And, um, you know, it held in place, you know, really well. The only, you know, trouble I might have later, obviously, is trying to paint into, into there, but we'll cover that at another date. But the point is, is I didn't want to have to sand away and try to work, you know, with these gaps when the wing is, you know, in the way, right? I mean, that's really hard to get into. So... We also have to deal with the fact that you know we have this intake rate, right? and so it's got to go underneath. But I can't see that being an issue, you know, now that these are on, because it should just basically slip in like so. So that's what I've done. Um, I might need a little bit of putty still. Uh, it just seems like there's no no getting around that. But I don't have. A, you know, a step or a lip or anything. It's, it's, it seems like it's very smooth on both sides, right? You can see it's nice and smooth. There's no step, nothing like that. So I th if this works, it might be a better way of going about building this model. And then you can see right in there, it looks a little sloppy, but maybe a little bit of uh, putty and sanding, that's gonna be gone but you're not dealing with this huge gap at this point. Also, by doing it this way, you're gonna be able to get you know a lot of glue on the inside like that, and this isn't gonna go anywhere, right? Other than trying to fiddle, fiddle with it you know, on this step. So I guess we'll, we'll see as it goes, but um, I, as I said, I have a few of these. I'm not gonna do this one right here. Um, I have fur ball decals um, coming in, so we'll do a J and a B, and then we'll see how it goes. I think I'm going to put this one on a stand, at least that's the goal. And uh, yeah, and I have some interior details from fur ball that I'm going to be using as well. So anyway, that's where we're at with this one. It's just kind of a quick video to, to see if my little trick to doing the intakes will work. If it doesn't, then, you know, I might have wrecked a model, but I think we'll be okay. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I look forward to your comments. Thanks, guys.